Greetings and salutations, old Facebook fans, Hello. you Hello. lovely people. How the hell's it going? I am so glad Megan went back to college. We had to go out to eat like every single place on the planet for the last three days. <laughs> it's like, damn. You feel in the wallet already? I'm, I, yes. Yes. Casey Kelly in the house. Mm, my dear, how are you? Is that too sappy? Yes. By far. Debbie Parker's on there. Con <laughs> hey, everybody. What's going on? <clears throat> oh, I got a big short over here. Uh, sounds personal to me. There we go. Um, my man, Mayor Pete, did a great job last night. I was going to ask you about that. Well, Mayor about Pete, it. Mayor Pete kicked it. <clears throat> I was very happy. He got after Elizabeth Warren. Told Beto O'Rourke to grow some. I was loving it. Um, he still he still looks like a kid. <laughs> he still looks. I mean, I don't know. But I had good. Uh oh, time to roll. I don't want to roll yet. Well, uh, you've got your tickets, and we're cashing them in. <laughs> To the Wake Up Call with Phil Quinn, brought to you by Phillips Drugs on Richmond's Classic Hits. 46 degrees here on the Wake Up Call. It is 6.44. Thank you for listening and for those of you watching online now on Facebook Live. How are you? Jeff Lane is here. Um, good morning. Hello. All right. Uh, I, I don't, I think it's maybe the first time in a week or so we don't have any I-70 news to talk about <laughs> that's I, right am i retiring my highway to hell no no i'm sure something's gonna happen it's just a matter of time <sighs> hang on to it okay all right sure we'll use it again okay Very all right good. good good all right our lead story this morning we're talking about the mother of the boy who caused the active shooter incident at dennis intermediate school last year if you haven't heard yet she turned herself into the Boynton county jail yesterday after six felony charges were filed she wasn't there long she Posted bond after about an hour and a half. That's not unusual at all. Um, I got into a discussion with somebody on on Facebook that was watching our live feed yesterday talking about that. Yeah. Who said that it's just ridiculous. There's no reason why she should have these charges. And the fact of the matter is, I think you have to have that conversation. It's not just enough that she called. It's just not enough. We have to try to help prevent and educate people about about how to identify and take seriously when when kids are making threats like that. I, I think you have to I think you have to do it. You have to have the hearing and the case and the discussion. Yeah, and that's if this case goes to trial, which it, it almost certainly will not, but but you hear this argument all the time. She lost her son, isn't that punishment enough? And that's that's going to... I've heard it, that ever it, since I've done this. Right? I know, but it will be... It, it. She will have to live with that regardless. But is there a lesson to be learned by saying, here were all the warning signs, here's what was and was not ignored, and when you go on to... Again, I think Dr. Oz plays a role in this. Going on and saying, I had no idea, just isn't true. Yeah. Yeah, and this this story is picking up some national steam as well. Uh, it's it's in the New York Times, and it was interesting to see their take on it. And uh, it's, yeah. it's probably going to get some more national attention before it's all said and done. Obviously, yeah. uh, while we're in the court system, let's talk about Travis Lee. An initial hearing is still pending for him. He's the guy who allegedly caused the silver alert earlier this week. His bond right now is at sixty three thousand five hundred dollars. Uh, without probable cause being found, he could be released on his own recognizance today, although officials say that is extremely highly unlikely. There you go. And, yeah, I don't think we I, want that. And he does face similar allegations in Randolph County. I, I don't think he's going anywhere anytime soon. Right. Uh, there is a problem. Oh, well, actually, you know, maybe we could spin this. This isn't the same thing, though. This is okay. I-70 troubles. So let's, let's not go there. But oh. a, there is a problem with Richmond traffic on the east side. It has yes. nothing to do with I-70 construction but has everything to do with a stoplight at Elks Road and mm -hmm. East Main Street. Uh, as you probably know, that intersection has been ranked as Richmond's most dangerous based on the number of crashes there. Well, the problem is this. The stoplight uh, for west traffic going east on East Main is not nearly long enough. No. 
it's only lasting uh, about 10 seconds before it turns red. And so only a few cars can go through there. Everybody's getting impatient. They're running through it. And meanwhile, traffic is backing up clear to Garwood Road. I thought that that problem was because of 70, that there was just a lot of traffic. And I got educated about that saying, no, actually it's not. There, it, the lights going eastbound are not long enough, and the turn lane either. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and uh, I, I reached out. I have not heard back on what the cause of that problem is, why why it started, or when a fix is going to be made. Well, what we could do is just get traffic cop out there till we get it fixed. That'd be all right. I guess I don't know. Yeah, just get out there, get the white gloves on. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Coming this way. Get the dance going. Yep. Yeah. 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 Get a whistle. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's what we need. <laughs> If you're watching on Facebook Live now, God help you. I just put I just put a butt move on you. I thought you were uh, gonna break into the Dougie there for a second. I, you know, I was. <laughs> yeah, hey, we'll get Tim Davis out there. Yes. Yes, that's what we'll do. We'll do the get up challenge while watching traffic coming. Get get a get your two step. And then he comes around and he's dead. That's what we need. What a fantastic Let's idea. I mean <laughs> Why am I not mayor? I don't know. I should be the mayor of this town. You've got to run first. I've got the hair. I've got the hair. <laughs> you got the socks. Okay. No, you don't. No, they're I don't. Gone, he took. No, they? he took them. Oh, they're mayor gone. Snow took the. Right. Took the. Uh, and real quick, I want to mention this. I know that you had Tamara Brinkman in yesterday, yeah. but it bears repeating that uh, the Coolman uh, Center will be the will be the site of the world or Wolverine Worldwide. Shoe. It took me like three takes to do that this morning. Wolverine Worldwide Shoe Sale. It's okay. Um, uh, it's a big, it's to this afternoon from 5 until 9, and then tomorrow from 8 until 1. Uh, lots of proceeds uh, of that benefit the United Way. My recommendation is to not go at noon tomorrow because it could be slim pickings. Yeah. You know, so get in there early, um, make, a, make a day of it or an evening of it, take a, a walking burrito as you walk through. But um, I think this is where, this is what we need to do. I think when they're talking about renaming buildings in you know, the county, I think Wolverine ought to take one of those, like the Raper Center, uh -huh. and uh, put the shoe sale in there on a fairly regular basis so that you have a little bit more variety. You, you could benefit some other nonprofits. I mean, I don't know how often they have these out-of-stock shoes or overstock shoes, whatever they, they might be, or close-out sales, whatever. But that could be a fun thing. Yeah. That could be something that you yeah. could do and, and do on a regular basis. Yeah. Okay, you ready for QOD? Lay it on me. All right. I don't know the last time you bought a new car because I look at what you drive and it looks it looks older. I mean, it's not. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that you you run stuff out until it cannot move anymore. But when buying a new car, what what's your must have option? Oh, all right, this really applies to me. My my Sonata that's out there right now has 156 thousand miles on it. I bought it new. It's in its death throes. It, it's it, doing it, all kinds of crazy stuff. The, the tail lights are on on a consistent basis. Last night, check this out. Last night I was driving home. It started honking all by itself <laughs> <laughs> for no reason. Sure. Yeah. That's what you uh, tell all the girls. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. It's not me. It's the car. Uh, this morning it just stopped going. It, like the I was I was on seventy and. I had the gas d down, and the engine was running, but nothing was happening. I got down to like 50, and I thought I was going to have to pull over and call you. And then all of a sudden, it just started running again. <laughs> so so what your must-have <laughs> option is? <laughs> well, tires and an engine at this point. <laughs> no, I don't know. For me, the less, the better. I don't oh want a bunch God, of stuff. God, you I, are 100 years old. I don't want, if it's got a radio, that's all I need. I don't want anything else. I don't want a butt warmer. I don't want a rear view camera. I don't want all What? I don't want it. I Come want on. It. No, I don't want it. All right, seat warmers, they're my must have. Moon roof is a must have option. I prefer, I don't necessarily need it to be leather. I prefer for it to be um, not, not cloth though. You know, there's a little hybrid thing that is a mix of those. I do like the rear view camera. I do like the remote start that I just put in the, the new 4Runner, but um, I, I think the seat warmers are, are the, the key. If you're going to live here, seat warmers are good. It'll ch Jeff, it will change your life, man. It's fine. I'm, I'm good. I've gotten along this far. I'm fine. It's just more stuff that can go wrong. So what do, if you could pick 
any card that you would want, you're not going to go high end. I mean, if this if the station bought you a card and said, "Look, Jeff, you committed to us. You'd go to all these things. You'd show up on the live on the scene. You don't have to put a logo on it. You could have any car you want. What would you want?" You know what I got my eye on? I've had my eye on this for a couple of years now. I want a Porsche Boxster. Oh. Well, that's not in the radio station budget. <laughs> but, okay, so, but th those cars can have problems. I mean, yeah. they run well, but when they got a problem. It's expensive. <gasps> yes, yeah, sir. That's why I haven't bought one yet. Yeah. But what I'm driving mine until it dies, and it hasn't died. It's close. It's on its deathbed. No, I mean, look. If it, but it has a pulse. I know it's Wet Nose Wednesday, but if it were if it were a dog, we're, <laughs> we're putting it down. <laughs> All right, we're going to do it. Let's get out of here before we get in trouble. When the weather is this ugly, All right, gang. Schools and businesses will be operating on schedule. I don't want Tim, don't, don't anybody tell Tim Davis that I was making fun of him on the radio. That guy could <laughs> squash me like a bug. Wet Nose Wednesday is coming up after the break.